But that's through the butt. Cause she got mad at when he at something he didn't do for her. She went told she, she went told the police, man. And then oh. yeah, <laughs> that man. he did that. Oh. And then and then then she started messing with the detective that did the case. Oh, she's Ooh. dirty. I, yeah, she dirty. Man. Yeah. You can't make that up. <laughs> you can't yeah. make that up, man. And she was messing with the detective. And now he done did 20 years. He got he, he out now because of this bitch. He did 20 years, man. Hey, what what about the guys that 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 uh went to jail for some bullshit that they did? You know, when they were when they were younger, mm -hmm. you know, they, they got out there, they might be on the road now, but they're trying to turn their life around. They get one of these fucking black women from the neighborhood. She get mad at them because uh because of uh something you know that she wanted them to do he wouldn't do you know or, or you know just whatever she get mad at him at and and then she she's always threatened to call his PO man and she'll call the PO and lie on him make up some bullshit next thing you know he gets tossed toss back in prison yep. you know that's 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 L O I see my brother go through this a lot man yeah kind of a high head but he won't he won't put his hands on because he know. He don't put his hands on these women, but he should. He should, but that, that, I ain't gonna condone that, man. You know, but the whole thing I'm saying is, the whole thing is, he gotta go to jail, he go to jail because they lie on him all the time, man. And I don't get that the dude still sticks around these motherfuckers, man. My brother. That's the reason why it's 2018, you know, he a big well, black dude. 2018 curve, curve bitches. He a big, yeah, he a big, I'm gonna say black because they ain't in the truth. He a big, my brother, big black dude. <laughs> and they look at him. And, even they, and then they know the record of the bitch. They believe, and that one, the one cop said, man, I don't know how you sticking around with this, man, because, hey, I got a record, man. This is, I know it gotta be her, but she keep calling on you. Yeah, and you know what they do? Uh, when that happens, they they'll uh they'll flat when a woman uh, calls the police and lie on the on the guy and say he did something, but but he didn't do it. They'll flag that house, so the response time of the police coming to that house won't be as as fast. So unless something happens, somebody breaking the house on, on that bitch, man. You no, know, she gonna be a dead hoe. Uh, there's a uh, on the Vlad TV. They just uh, recently uh, found yeah uh, Tupac uh, Shakur's uh, the bitch who said. That uh, he raped her. This bitch. Damn. You you could tell you she it was so much yeah. fucking lying. <laughs> I, I could you could count this time she said um 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 um. She she claims Swiss cheese. She claimed that uh uh well first they said that she blew him off in the uh in the dance floor and then she said uh he forced my head down and I forgot I might have I might have kissed him. I don't know. Right? How, how do you forget that? How the fuck did you forget that? <laughs> and, and then, another thing, I think it was like the four minute mark, I forgot, maybe it's the first video or the second video, because she's claiming that Tupac, you know, raped her. She said, she uh, told Tupac, how did you let this happen to me? As opposed to, why did you do this to me? So why would she say, like, she was lying on herself in the interview. Why would you say, why, because what, what everybody speculates is that they ran a train on her, which she uh, let, and then I guess she felt like he should have been there for her in her defense. Right, and then he just left. And then, as opposed to uh, she saying that, oh, they just they just took my clothes off and I was just helpless. What, what, the bitch didn't cry right for none of this shit like that until she goes forth, and now all of a sudden, you know, now she wants her 15 minutes of fame back. That goes to show you how fucking evil a fucking woman with will go to and fucking set you up. But that Me Too, it's that Me Too agenda, that movement going on now. So that's why she popped up after 20 something years, man. Cause they have me too. So she can get some, some notoriety to be on uh, Good some Morning fame. America. Right. Shit, that Who man did. dead. <laughs> you know, right. Good Morning America. She just gonna go to Vlad, may get to something else and that's it, man. That's it's the buck stop that shit. There's no yeah, money so in her can, story, she man. She be the next bitch on the reality TV Yo, show. she, that's what she wants. Nah. Oh, there's gonna be some crying some tears. She get some fame, here. get her name out there. She, you know I, what I'm saying? And on the interview, you, 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 you dress like a straight up hoe. Got your titties out, you know what I'm saying? With a short dress on. Yup. Well, 
if, 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 if a woman was raped, she should want to cover up. She shouldn't want to be showing her body part off. Because she wouldn't want it to happen again. You can't tell her what to do with her body. But she wasn't, she wasn't raped, man. You can't tell her what to do with her body. You can't, you can't tell her what to do with her body. It's only mine for to be more uh, modest in her apparel, you know? Right. Yeah. But uh, this is uh, going back into the topic of slavery, dealing with uh, uh, the, these uh, heathens, especially these the, the rich elite banking families, you know, that rule over the world, man. They're going to be our top slaves. They're the, they're, they're the ones, they're those Amalekites that's keep, that put us in this position that we're in. They put us in slavery. So it's only, it's only right for them to go into slavery and to be rewarded as they have rewarded us. So this is Isaiah 49. In uh, in uh, beginning at 22, it says, "Thus saith Yahweh, uh, 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 power, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall shall be carried upon their shoulders. The king shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee." with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. And then the, the Aqua just talking about, you know, how these nations look at us crazy because we're just waiting on the Lord, man. You no? Know? These heathens, these rich uh, uh, elite banking families and these, these uh, you know, the, the queen, her old ass, you know uh, the, those different princes that's of her, uh, of, her, of, of their lineage. They're gonna bow down to us and lick up the dust of our feet, man. Like it tells you in the book of Joshua, we gonna put our our foots on their neck, man. Her old ass, uh, you know the crap that is gonna have to bow down too. I don't give a fuck if you got arthritis in your back. You better take the bleachers out. That's <laughs> right. Better pick oh, that boulder up. <laughs> kiss, the, kiss these feet, oh, man. Hand. These righteous feet, man. <laughs> this is uh, Psalms 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their keys with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. And what is what is that? Bound somebody with chains and feathers of iron. You you see you seen the uh, the slave movies where they had Jake bound with chains and feathers of iron coming off those slave ships. That was that was slavery that you put upon our people. And you didn't just do it with the southern kingdom of Israel. You did it with the northern kingdom as well. Uh. So we're gonna do the same thing back to you and the rest of the other nations, but it's gonna be worse. Uh. Order double. This is uh, Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shepherds, even as I received of my father. So hey man, not hey, not not only y'all y'all gonna be in lockup, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, we gonna have y'all 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 um y'all heaters in pits, all right? You know when when all type of insects and mosquitoes and bees and all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? We all, also gonna have the power to to beat you nations in and to powder, you know what I'm saying? When, you know whenever so we feel, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're going off, we basically gonna be like the the new the new uh policy and forces of the earth. You know, the Most High is setting up the tabernacles of David, all right, that, that governing body, all right? We're going to be the rulers, all right, that's going to be keeping y'all nations in check when y'all go off, you know what I'm saying? And, and if it be so, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be beating y'all across the head, back and where we please, you know what I'm saying, with, with a rod of iron, literally. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a literal physical issue, all right? Uh, we're going to be on your ass gonna... like the task force in this bitch. Right, right. 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 Ham ain't going to, y'all ham going to be the, uh, Ham's yeah. gonna be the same uh, hey, Get you, get that needle mate. Oh no, get you. Hey, boss. Right. <laughs> boss. Boss, he, 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 he trying to eat. He trying to eat a deer while he's running. <laughs> Raw. Well, we're gonna be on his ass. The spear's gonna, spear's gonna come out on him, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the ham's gonna be happy to hope. 
Yeah. Yeah. You gonna be telling this shit. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the rod of iron, that's a blunt force it's instrument, yeah. man. Imagine you know, it's, it's, it's not something that, that causes a, 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 a tickling sensation to go through your body, man. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't, you know, it, it, it causes pain. It ain't no, it don't feel like a feather rubbing up your back, man. We ain't using it for, <laughs> we, we gonna use it to, 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 to bash your skull in, man. You know, Kyle, we gonna be like the crack, crack your head. Kyle, we be like the uh, uh, what's the movie? Uh, Judge Dredd. You know, like the uh, what do you say? The uh, what's the judge? Ex the judge judge Dredd executioner. executioner. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, we gonna be that pol policy enforcers in the earth. You know what I'm saying? Checking you nations. You know? Yeah. God. And if we and we just wake up and we wanna kick some ass, that, that's exactly what we gonna do. That's right. If we wake right. up. And we, and we just feel like killing the Edomite today, you know, lining Edomites up like uh, the, like the king, you know, uh, what was that, Amaziah, you know? If we feel like uh, throwing some Edomites off a cliff, then we're going to do it. That's right. You know, and ain't nobody going to stop us. That's right. Here it is in this society, you killing Israelites, and, and, and who's who's uh, judging, judging righteous judgment for those innocent Israelites that you killed? Ain't no such thing as an innocent Edomite. That's, and that's gonna be the difference. You deserve what you're getting. That's right. You know? You deserve what you're getting. That nigga's a fact. That nigga's straight up. Listen to that bullshit. Uh, this is uh and, and, and then we're gonna take all of your riches. All of the gold that these that these uh, uh raw childs have stored up. All of the goals that these that these Oppenheimers, these these uh these these Gettys, these uh, these uh, Rockefellers, all of the money that they got stored up, we, we gonna take it. All of the forces of the Gentiles, y'all gonna bring y'all shit into us, man. Right. Everything that you have, you gonna bring your daughters. If you got a, hey, we gonna put out a decree. We want all of the fine bitches in the land. Right. You gonna have to bring your daughters, and it, and it ain't nothing. You, hey, if you call, if you be called hiding your daughters, we, we gonna kill, we gonna kill your whole family, man. Yeah, we gonna have you dress her, dress her up for us too. And if you bring the ugly one of ugly bitches, you get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like, uh, like, like Cin Cinderella. Yeah. <laughs> bring on ugly bitch. You gonna have to, you gonna have to bring your daughters. It's gonna be like, uh, like, uh, what was that? Uh, the, the king in, in Ezra, uh, uh, es uh, Esther. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna have to bring your fine, lovely daughters, cause uh, during the Byzantine Empire, when they were in those caves and living in filth, their daughters, their daughters was just running unto us, man. Happy for us to take them and to put them in our harem. We got a good place for them, and we gonna take good care of them too. That's right. You know? This is uh, Isaiah 60, in verse 10. It says, "And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls." In, in their king shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor ha I have I had mercy in my mercy, uh, so like it. but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. So we gonna have these 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 top uh, rulers of the of the world. A Trump is gonna be a slave in Israel, man, yes. and under the Israelites, you know, and all of the people that are head over him, George Soros. His old ass, he's going to be a slave out there stacking up uh, uh, bricks of gold. Because we ain't just going to have regular bricks that our palaces are going to be built out of. We're going to have walls of gold, man. And rubies and pearls and jewels. It says, therefore thy gates shall be open continually that they, that they, they shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, that the kings may be brought for the nations and, and kingdoms that will not serve thee shall perish, yet those nations shall be utterly wasted. So if a, if a, if a, a, a nation of people, if, if the Hamites don't want to come up and, and pay tribute and don't want to serve us, guess what? They're going to they're gonna be destroyed. Uh, jumping down to 14, it says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, uh, and, and, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, 
and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, uh, and, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, thy Savior and thy Redeemer, uh, the, the mighty, the mighty one of Jacob. It says, "For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stone iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine ex, uh, exactors righteous. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, and wasting no uh, nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt be, uh, shall call thy wall salvation, and thy gates praise." You know, because if those hey, if those uh, Jews that are in the land today were the true Israelites, well, why are they afraid of all of the nations that are around them? Why are they still fighting against the Palestinians? Why did they just do joint violence in Egypt with Cairo? And the scripture says when the true Israelites are put back in the land, that, that people, that they're going to beat their swords into plowshares. 